Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball 4 Box. Pick your team number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Also from a fresh case. All right, 4 box breaks, 12 boxes per case. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 from a fresh case. 10, 11, 12 will be from the same case. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Daniel with that double last spot mojo, Orioles and Cubs. And since you bought the requisite two teams, you'll also be eligible for the break credit, which we'll do at the end. All right, let's see what we got here. So let's just slide two boxes off of each stack to make three stacks of four. We'll roll the die. We'll go with that Dodger blue die here. One, two, three, four, and five, six. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be that, or you can see my hand on the top screen there. That's the stack we're going to do. These we will save for next time. I'm going to write four box on here, so these will be for the four box pick your teams. So one of these will be break 11, the other one will be break 12. I'm going to leave that on the sofa there because we might be able to run that back tonight. All right, six autographs per box. We're looking for the for future stars here, ladies and gentlemen. Kane Jordan, yes, plenty of spots left on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's box number one. And for the draft autographs, we have the 2020 MLB draft. In personal boxes, yes, all cards ship in personal boxes. That's on Instagram Live only, at Jaspi's Breaks, if you want to check that out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, our first autograph is going to be Matt Tice. On-card autograph, 78 out of 99. Angels have a new GM. So we'll, we'll see how he addresses the Angels issues there. Nick Sanders with the Halos. And we got Evan White for the Mariners. That's going to be for Josh. On card autograph. And the next autograph is Nick Matten for Philadelphia. That'll be for the Phillies. That's going to go to Nick Sanders. I think it's Philadelphia looking for a new GM too. I think the Mets are as well. And we got Jared Schuster from Wake Forest. Draft ticket autograph, 41 out of 75. J. 
Jake Schuster is not on my list here. I'm not on the... I should have had groupbreakchecklist.com open. Stand by. Going to groupbreakchecklist.com. View by team. Not Jake Fraley, not Jake Rogers, but Jake Schuster. No, is Jake Schuster not on this list here? He's not on the checklist, so he'll be randomized to one person in the break. We got Hunter Dozier, 86 out of 149. Going to Kansas City. That'll be for Nick and the Royals. And we've got Austin Shenton for Seattle. Another one for Josh and the M's. And then we got for Miami, we got Isaac Galloway. Marlins, that's going to be for Josh. Ryan Harold, what are what are your uh, what are your Mets going to do in the front office? I think they originally wanted a president of baseball operations plus GM, but now they might make those two separate positions. Is that what I read? What's that? Theo Epstein, yeah. Maybe, maybe teams are holding off for a year. Before Theo wants to come back, that's what he's. According to him, that's what he wants to do. Just take one baseball season off. So the latest for the Mets, they're trying to get A's GM David Force. Force Frost. I'm not familiar with the A's GM. There's Sheldon Nussi, speaking of Oakland. Rookie ticket autograph for Josh and the A's. Ooh. Look at this. From Arizona State. Five out of ten, the number one overall pick, Spencer Torkelson. On card auto, Josh and the Tigers. Nice. Although Wikipedia has him listed as a third baseman. He's a first baseman, according to Panini. That's really nice. Detroit on there. That's pretty nice. And then we've got for Atlanta, uh, Chad Sabotka. I think he got some some run with 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 the Braves, right? Nick Sanders and the Braves.
And we've got Nick Lofton, draft ticket. Nick Lofton, shortstop for the Royals out of Baylor. He was the 32nd pick overall, part of the competitive balance round A. Kansas City, that'll be for Nick. And then Ryan Harold saying the, the A's guy could get promoted to head of operations for the A's from GM. And then Bobby Heck for the Rays could be in the mix as well. There's draft ticket JT Real Muto, 17 out of 99. And we've got Mason McCoy for the Orioles. That'll be for Daniel with uh, one of his last spot mojo teams. Right, you'd rather see, Ryan Harold would rather see Bobby Heck from Tampa Bay running the running the Mets front office because he put together a team no one saw coming. Now imagine, imagine him if he had a, a bit of a payroll. And there's Edwin Rios, twenty out of ninety nine. For the Dodgers, the champs, Josh, with the boys in blue. You know, there were some. Well, there was some criticism of Andrew Friedman, who also came over from the uh, Rays to run the Dodgers front office a number of years back. The criticism that he that some people made, some people had was, was uh, he doesn't know how to spend money, Ryan. What do you think about that? They're they're just like, they're just like, well, he came from the Rays. He he's used to you know, finding value in players. He doesn't know how to spend money. Doesn't know what to do with a big payroll. It's a different kind of skill. Or maybe there's enough of that skill that overlaps where, where it doesn't matter. All right, there's Sheldon Nussi for the A's. That's for Josh in Oakland. Ryan's thinking, listen, the owners, ownership's like a kid in a can. They'll, they'll, they'll splash the cash. Then, then Heck will find the good value players. So just sign Bauer, Springer, and Lindor. Just like that. Open the wallets for them. Because, I mean, yeah, that's kind of easy, right? And then let, let the Tampa Bay genius figure out what to do to fill out the rest of the roster. There is Ed Howard from Mount Carmel High School. Sounds like a delicious high. 75 out of 75. I just think of, like, uh, a volcano of Carmel. Now he's the 16th overall pick. He's going to uh, the Cubs, Chicago Cubs with that one. Strowman resign? Oh, no, sorry. No, he re-signed with the Blue Jays. I think he signed a one-year deal. Strowman? Oh, maybe with the Mets? Oh, no, I'm thinking of uh, the old Robbie Ray, who was traded to Baltimore, and then they re-signed him. And then there's Nick Matten again for Philadelphia. Yeah, Strowman's a Met, right. I was confused there for a second. Well, yeah, I think I think after from Mount Point High School, Carson Tucker. That's a 
Shark card there. Carson goes to the tribe. Mount Carmel High School, by the way, is in Illinois, so Ed Howard is not going too far if he makes it to the bigs. Carson Tucker from Mount Point, Mountain Point High School is an Arizona Diamondback. Nick Sanders. Or I'm sorry, the high school is in Arizona, but he's going to Cleveland. He's going a long ways. That's still Nick Sanders. Draft ticket. There's uh, Miguel Cabrera. They're hoping that Torkelson will be a future Cabrera. That would be nice. That would be good. Casey Mize and Torkelson is the future for the Tigers. They could build around that. Six out of 18, Tres Barrera for Washington. Nick Sanders. And Deshaun Knowles for the Angels. He's an angel in the outfield. He plays outfield. That goes to Nick Sanders in the Halos. Joe, that Jared Schuster is a brave on the checklist? Oh, I said Jake Schuster? Jared Schuster. Oh, I kept spelling Schuster with a C. He's one of those weird no C Schusterses. The eternal rival of Schusters with a C. Wow, I got it all wrong. All right, so that does go to Atlanta. That goes to Nick Sanders. Now, you, yeah, you did nail it, Ryan Harold. You had it earlier. I wonder what had to happen in history for these Schusters to drop the C. Someone at some point was like, that's it. We're no longer Schusters with a C. What, Dad? What? That's, that's it. We're leaving the Schusters. We'll forge our own way as Schusters without a C. Brad saying Ellis Island bastardized many names. See, that's not as fun to think about. That's probably the right answer. I'd like to think that there is at some point a big Schuster rivalry. And they're saying, we're dropping the C. That's it. Maybe some sort of Hatfield McCoy style. style. Uh, I'm thinking of a Hatfield McCoy style situation, except if their names were both McCoy or Hatfield, but then they just spelled it differently. All right, we've got diamond ticket Marco Gonzalez for Seattle. That's to 15. Nice low number there for the Mariners. Josh with the Mariners. Uh, Ryan Harold also has what is likely there's Sam Henkes for Cleveland. What seems to be a more logical answer, but not as fun of a story. Ryan Harold saying, as a Jew myself, means cobbler, but at some point the C was just not popular for a while. It just fell out of fashion in the community. They're like, eh. Who makes that decision, though? We've got Jalen Davis. At some point, they were like, you know what? C's aren't cool. There's Josh with the Giants. Oh, we're just not going to do the C. All right, see you, Mike. 
And we got Justin Lang from four, four out of 18. He's also a high schooler. From Lano or Yano High School. And it's double L's. Yeah, I figured that, Ryan Harold. I, I didn't think it was a, it was a 1930, 1930s, 40s issue. Justin Lang is a Padre. That's right, Ryan. Thank you. Because I don't think that that one C being taken out is gonna. Uh, so Yano High School in Texas. He goes to the San Diego Padres. He was a 31st, fourth overall pick in competitive balance round eight. And that's going to go to Nick in San Diego. Ryan Harold says he's a stud. We've got legendary. I've heard of this guy, Sandy Koufax, 32 out of 99. And future Dodgers star Gavin Lux 15 out of 18 playoff ticket for the Dodgers Josh now Koufax will go to you too for the Dodgers And here's a great, another great Padre coming up, Trent Grisham. He had a great season for Nick Sanders and the Friars. Jeff Dorlak, what's up? I've not seen Nick Swisher's reaction that he's on the ballot for the Hall of Fame. I'm assuming it was amusing. And the final one is going to be for Atlanta, Vaughn Grissom, 50 out of 99. I remember another Grissom in baseball. Remember, uh, was it Marquise Grissom? Was there a Stu Grissom? I don't know a Stu Grissom. Oh, that's Stu Grissom's hockey. Nick Sanders Braves. Marquise Grissom. I don't know if they're related, but there you go. A Grissom going to Nick Sanders. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. There'll be more four-box breaks in the store, so check it out, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.